Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss something new in Odo version 13. So, we will discuss regarding video preview in Odo version 13. So, if I go to the products, sorry, inventory and then to the product variants, I will show you what I am going to talk about. So, if I search for the product name Bolt, so I have already set the things for the product Bolt so, can I, so that I can show you directly what the things that we are going to discuss about. So, I will just open the Bolt and then if i go to the e-commerce page here you can see if i click on these you can see extra product media i have set this thing auto 13 accounting and i have given the youtube video url that is you have given the url then you can see the preview video option right at the end of the screen so if i click on this play button of the youtube you can see the video starts playing here at the screen itself there is no need to go to the YouTube and watch the video you can directly watch the video here from the Odoo itself so it's done I'll just close this tag so it's done using a new widget the widget name is video preview so if I go to the pie charm and I have already made search of that just close the hat so if you search like this if I go to pie charm and if you search like video preview you can see one occurrence that is it has been used widget equal to video video preview so we are going to discuss regarding this video preview in odo version 13 how we can add such a field inside your code or how that preview can be added into the code so from here you can see the field name is embedded code let's see how we can do that in our model that is we are continuing the development here inside using school module so let's add the same inside our model that is here you have got students form view let's add such a video preview inside the students form view so we will see how we can do that inside the code using widget video preview so first of all i'll just close the pie charm from here and i'll go to the ui i'll go to the inventory again let me check the field name i'll go to the master data product variants and i will just search for the product made bolt and i will open that what I'm going to do is that I'm want to get the field name where we have entered the URL. So I have to get sorry I forget to activate the debug mode. I'll just go to the settings and I'll just activate the developer mode and come back. So from the settings we will activate the developer mode from here. So once after the debug mode is activated we have to go to the inventory monster data product variants. Let me search for the product named Bolt. Bolt yes then I will open it commons tab click on here and let me search for this field name so the field name is video underscore url so i'll just search for that field video url so you can see video url equal to fields dot care yeah so this is the field so this is the field where we have entered the url here that is here we have entered the url and here we will get the embedded code of that given url and using the widget we will play the video here so first of all what we have to do is that we have to create a care field to enter the video url then you have to add a compute field to get the to compute the embedded code so what i will do is that i'll just copy this video url and these two fields that is two fields are of type compute field i'll just copy these two fields and i will put it right inside our custom module that is on school module that we are continuing our development so here you can see video underscore url you can give the name as per your need so here what i have done is i have just copied as there is inside the products so video underscore url fields dot care it's a character field and you can give a string as you like then help also you can showing your student i'll just change the help as per my need then you have to add another care field with a compute function you can give the name as per your need so i'm not going to change the compute function so from here i'll just copy the compute function also so if i search the compute function here yeah you can see the compute function is defined here i'll just copy this Control c and i will paste it inside our custom model so yeah i have pasted it here so you can see get video embedded code so from where it has been done so if i search get video embedded code Control f and if i scroll up you can see it has been imported from from odo add-ons website dot tools import get video embedded code so i'll copy this line and paste it it right top of the student.py file 
so that's done so we have imported from odoo dot add-ons dot website dot tools import get video embedded code so we what we have done is we have defined two fields one is for entering the url that is youtube url or any public url and that we will enter in the video url character field then under field we have a compute field of type character which will compute the embedded code so if i search for this inside the code get video embedded code diff yeah you can see this has been defined here itself in the tools.py file here you can see this is the function which will convert the given url into an embedded code so we are not going to discuss about that function so what we need is we have to add two character fields one is for entering the url and another is for is one is for computing the embedded code and the function is like this at api depends the url field and you have to write image dot embedded code equal to get video embedded code so instead of image i'll give us a rec you can just i'll just for things getting clear rec dot video url so this is the code for computing the embedded code don't forget to import from odoo add-ons dot website tools dot import get video embedded code now i'll just search for these fields inside the views so earlier we have checked inside only the python file now let's see how it's given inside the code so if i search for that here you can see this is the field that is embedded code widget video pro so i will copy that and i will add it inside the student.xml file so here i have added a notebook and inside the notebook i have a page and i will enter the field here also i have to enter the define the field of video url so that only we can enter the url which has to be previewed so i'll just add that field here so that's done and I'll remove this integration. So that's done with XML. Now let's see what happens if we upgrade the module. So let's go to the UI and I'll pause this wizard. Now I'll go to the apps menu and I'll just upgrade the module to see the change. So I'll just search for the module school. And here we have our module. I'll just click on the upgrade button. So once after the module is upgraded, you will have a field where you can enter the video URL in the students form so the module has got upgraded without any errors so we will go to the school and then students here we have already one student i'll just open that and if i click on edit button you can see there is no label that's don't get worried because i haven't because i haven't given it inside a group that's why the label is not coming so let's copy a url from our one of our channel our channel so i'll just copy this video url just copy that and I will paste it right here in the new field that's this field name is video underscore URL which we have given here so that's done and if I click on save no need of save button you can see the preview is coming here so by just click on here you can see the video will get start playing in the screen so if I decrease the size of the screen you can see the better way you can see the video has been started playing inside our screen so if i click on the save button I just click on the save button you can see yeah let this play the video for some time control minus i'll just decrease the screen size you can change the size of this box as per your need by giving styles to the field so yeah the video is playing regarding our audio after the recording module so ignore that so that's not our topic so i'll just pause the video okay video is paused so this is how you can add or preview a video inside odoo version 13 so what you have what we have done in this video is that we have added two fields that is video url the name can be given as per your need so here i have just copied from there and directly pasted it there so that's i didn't change the url so there is there should be a care field to accept the url so that is video url then you have to define another car field which has to compute the embedded code from the inputted video url and the compute function is like this at api depends the field name for rec itself rec dot embedded code this field name equal to get video embedded code then you have to pass the url as parameter then don't forget to import from odoo add-ons dot website dot tools import get video embedded code then inside the xml file what you have done is we have defined a field to accept the url then along with the embedded code field we have given budget equal to video underscore preview so that's done then you have to just update the module and now you will see once you enter the url you will see the 
preview option here in the screen that is don't want to go to somewhere else you can directly watch the video inside the Odoo itself so if i change some of the videos i'll go to the channel and i'll take some of the videos some of the videos I'll copy this video and if I paste it here I'll just change the video URL from here and if I click on outside button you can see the video has been loaded here itself and if I click on save that's done so that's all about how you can preview a video inside your form view in Odoo version 13 so that's all about this video if you like our videos and if you like our channel you can subscribe to channel and like the videos and also you can suggest our channel to your colleagues. So that's it. Thank you.